Welcome back tonight. We're shining a light on an issue impacting many families right here in central Indiana. And that's the high cost of drugs that many Hoosiers need just to stay alive. Well, tonight a vigil was held on the doorstep of Eli Lilly. In a way, this served as a remembrance for people who died due to what the folks here tonight say is the high cost of insulin. T1 International held this event and that group tells us that the cost of insulin has grown by 1200% since the year 1996. RTV6 reporter Graham Hunter met with those families who say that needs to change. It is with the lighting of a candle we remember. My son Josh died three months ago from DKA. That the light of our loved ones truly never go out when we honor them. He had suffered multiple strokes while he was unconscious. Aaron Weaver's son, Josh Andrew Wilkerson, was type 1 diabetic. He died three months ago with a blood sugar of 1,700. Normal levels are usually less than 100. But his brain was fried. So we had to choose to take him off of life support. Before his death, Josh was forced to make a decision about his health based on his ability to pay for his insulin treatment. Josh said, I just can't afford to pay these prices. He had been rationing his insulin, a choice a Yale study recently revealed one in four diabetics also make. Mom yelled at him. <laughs> I didn't want him to die. I'd heard about others dying from it. And so Josh made a new choice that Weaver says may have cost him his life. His doctor's the one who suggested that he go on the $25 Walmart insulin because he couldn't afford the copay. So Weaver gathered with others who also lost loved ones in the shadow of the towering Eli Lilly facility. It just makes me angry. It just makes me angry. The greed. They listened to each other's stories and understood them all too well. But we had lost Jesse. And then we started the heartbreaking process of living life without her. Together, they demanded change. They just need to care and lower the prices. Or have the Congress do something to put a cap so it's not so expensive. Before another light goes out. I don't think that people are aware of how life-threatening it is right now for type 1 diabetics. Working for you in downtown Indianapolis, Graham Hunter, RTV6. Now, Graham also reached out to Eli Lilly for a response to the vigil, asking the company for a reason why the price of insulin continues to rise, among other questions. They had no response to that question in particular, but spokesperson J. Scott McGregor did issue this following statement, saying, quote, people should not have to pay the full list price for their insulin, and Lilly has taken several actions to remove that barrier, but more needs to be done to fix the health care system, and public demonstrations are an important part of that process. Process. We'll continue to push for the right reforms that can improve the system for everyone using insulin, end quote.